Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be solving another math problem. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be updated for our future uploads. This will be our second math problem. And the problem goes like this. In a geometric progression, the number of terms is 11, while the first and second term are 3 and 9 respectively. Determine the following. First is the sum of all terms. Second is the middle term. And the last one is the eighth term. Our previous problem involves arithmetic progression and that we have learned that in arithmetic progression the difference between each consecutive term is constant. And now this problem involves geometric progression. Geometric progression by definition is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed non-zero real number, called the common ratio. Sample of a geometric progression is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. Notice that the ratio of each consecutive term is 2, which is constant. This represents the first term, this is the second term, the third term, fourth term, and so on. In geometric progression, you should always remember these formulas. First is the ratio r is equals to the second term divided by the first term. Second is the sum of all terms, Sn is equals to first term, A1, multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio, r, raised to the power of the number of terms, n, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, r. Third is the nth term, a n, equals to the first term, a 1, multiplied by the common ratio, r, raised to the power of the number of terms, n, minus 1. And the last one is the position of the middle term, that is equals to 1 half multiplied by the number of terms, n, plus 1. Going back to the problem. The given datas are the following. Number of all terms is equals to 11. The first term, a1 is 3. And the second term, a2, is equals to 9. Now solving the first question. We will calculate first for the common ratio, r, that is 9, divided by 3, and the result is 3. Then, we will use the formula, sum of all terms, sn is equals to the first term, a1, multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio, r, raised to the power of the number of terms, n, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, r. And we have, 3, multiplied by 1, minus 3, raised to the power of 11, divided by 1 minus 3. And this gives us a value of 265,719. Moving on to the next question, that is to find for the middle term, am. First, we need to find the middle term position, that is equals to 1 half multiplied by the number of terms, 11, plus 1. And that gives us a value of 6. That means that the position of the middle term, am, is in the sixth term. To calculate for the sixth term, using the formula a6 equals to the first term, a1, multiplied by the common ratio, r, raised to the power of the number of terms, n, minus 1. And we have, 3, multiply by 3, raised to the power of 11, minus 1. And then the result is 729. Moving on to the last question, that is to find for the 8th term. We have a8, equals to the first term, 3, multiply by the common ratio, 3, raised to the power of the 8, minus 1. And that gives us a value of 6561. And that's it for this video. Please help this channel by liking this video and to be updated for our future uploads, please subscribe and hit the notification bell button.